here Wild Hunters friends welcome to my new uh, field video test uh, concerning one of the most uh, uh, performing uh, slug cartridge on the market today I'm talking about the Baschieri and Pellaghi Trill Shock slug uh, this is not a new cartridge this has been developed by the Italian manufacturer five years ago I had the opportunity to test it on the field and the uh, previous results uh, on the field were spectacular but obviously uh, this cartridge needed uh, and needs uh, more tests on the field and that's why after five years I decided to come back to this cartridge and the reason why is that uh, in these five years this cartridge uh, uh, is actually the best selling cartridge in, in Italy and in Turkey and this is uh, something very uh, strange because uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, slag cartridge on the market and in just five years this cartridge has uh, uh, come to the top the reason why uh, is because uh, this cartridge uh, was developed by Marco Manfredi with uh, one target on, my, in, in, on his mind. Uh, he wanted to, to make uh, a slug that was uh, very accurate, that was uh, 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 very performing uh, on, on, the, on the wild boar in terms, of, uh, in terms of penetration and in terms of uh, controlled uh, expansion. As a matter of fact, at that time, uh, uh, Baschieri and Pellagri uh, were, uh, uh, was reloading Foster type uh, uh, slugs and uh, the Gualandi slug on their uh, commercial cartridges but they wanted, Marco Manfredi, the owner of Baschieri and Pellagri, wanted to uh, develop a, a, a more performing uh, slug cartridge so he started to work on, uh, on a special shape of this cartridge at the beginning he, he thought that uh, a, a truncated semi-spitzer uh, point and uh, a very uh, rounded uh, uh, superficial lateral line uh, was the was the way to 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 make so uh, at the beginning he he knew that uh, the secrets was uh, to find out the right what uh, to stabilize the the slug at uh, at least 500 meters per second and then in order to uh, make it uh, the perfect slug on, in, in terms of uh, a terminal ballistic he has to play a lot with the antimonium rate uh, in the lead so after many experimentation finally he found the perfect balance on the, on the, on the, on the entire cartri commercial cartridge so uh, now the, the Trill Shock uh, slug gun is a 32 grams slug propelled at 500 meters per second. It's a, a 70 millimeter, uh, so it's not a magnum, it's just a standard uh, um, 70 millimeters, just a two three quarters of inch and uh, then it has a special wad also uh, Marco Manfredi decided to make a second version uh, which is called the black coated slug is uh, the same slug but propelled at a, an inferior and, and a slower speed that is uh, 450 meters per second and it has uh, a special black finished on, on the surface 
uh, on the uh, on the surface of, of the of the just to reduce the fooling on the barrel and uh, its uh, its perf performance is a little bit different uh, on the animal than the thrill shock but on the market the thrill shock had uh, the edge let me uh, uh, explain you now uh, with uh, some uh, photographs uh, the shape, how uh, the slug, how, how the thrill shock shape is made, how is made his what, and also compare uh, with the with the black coated slug version, and also I will show you some uh, expanded slugs that I found uh, in the in the gelatin. Okay. Okay, let's go and see these photographs. So is a very interesting uh, uh, commercial cartridge that uh, in Italy, uh, in just five years, um, ranked to the top of the best-selling uh, commercial slug for wild boar hunting. And the reason why is that uh, this uh, this cartridge can be shot in slug guns and in smooth bore guns and the performance in terms of accuracy is practically the same uh, and this is very strange because as you know uh, it seems to be that uh, every boar uh, has its own cartridge and, and it works with one or two or three cartridge and work very badly with others and this is a cartridge that you can put in every uh, in every uh, smooth bore or slug gun and you will have a, a great performance in terms of accuracy. This is the main reason. And another reason I wanted to verify on the, on the field was that uh, it is uh, well sell. It, it, this, uh, this cartridge sells a lot uh, in, in all Italy. So not just in the center, so in Tuscany, in the Lazio, in Umbria but uh, on, in the south and in the north and uh, this is very strange because uh, uh, the, the fields are completely different the shooting uh, range, the shooting distance are, are completely different in, in, in the south I Italy uh, the, the shots, uh, the, the average shot is 10, 15, 15 20 meters and in the in the in here in Tuscan in the center of Italy, the average uh, shooting for wild boar on drive is uh, between 20 and 50 meters. And in the north of Italy, you be begin to shoot at 50, 50, 60, 70, 80 meters. So the reason why they is selling uh, all around Italy is because uh, its performance in terms of uh, ballistics, uh, accuracy and terminal ballistics is exceptional, is exceptional, is, is really fantastic at any given distance. So I decided to test again uh, the real shock and uh, I decided to uh, go first on the shooting range uh, with two different uh, shotguns. These are two uh, slug guns, the Benelli M1 slug and the Hudson Extreme Escort uh, Magnum uh, sh uh, slug gun. I will shoot uh, two different groups uh, uh, for each of, of the gun. Uh, one at uh, uh, standing on a rest and one off hands. 
okay simulating a true uh, shooting uh, um, situation on on the hunting field for driving or for wild boar and I will shoot all the all my all my uh, groups at the 50 meters of distance so you will have uh, a, a, the opportunity to find out which are the real performance uh, uh, obviously I will shoot uh, with the uh, with the sights not uh, with the uh, red dots or uh, or uh, or uh, uh, scopes just with the uh, with the stock uh, uh, st sights and uh, uh, more I will uh, try to find uh, uh, some uh, places for hunting in which the poles are at the short distance at medium distance and long distance shooting so uh, I will try to I, I know that you, it will take a lot of time to do this uh, test but I want to do a, a great job for you because this cartridge deserves a great uh, a field test okay now let's go to the shooting range and then sure after on the hunting field dear true hunters friends welcome uh, back uh, I am in the gun shop uh, ready for the test of the thrill shock slug cartridge as I did uh, with uh, uh, the other cartridge by Baschieri and Pelagri, the white blackout uh, high velocity uh, I will uh, do my zeroing and my, and my group test uh, at 50 yards distance and I will do it uh, with uh, two different shotguns, uh, two different uh, slug shotguns, the Benelli M1 and the Hudson uh, Escort Extreme Slug. Um, I will do the same thing I have done uh, before, I mean I will uh, shoot two different groups uh, per uh, each uh, um, shotgun, one at the stand, so in in the in, in with the rest position, and the uh, and the other one I will do it hand free. So uh, you will have uh, all the requirements uh, um, data to use by yourself about the performance of this uh, slug, and then after that we will go hunting for wild boars on drive hunting. This is uh, the, a test uh, of recoil, recoil test level. Uh, I have uh, put uh, uh, three cartridges uh, of the Thrill Shock, okay? This is a 32 grams that uh, uh, has a 500 uh, uh, meter uh, per second speed. And uh, comparing uh, with uh, the white blackout high velocity which has a 575 meter per second at the muzzle and it's a 28 grams okay let's go and see uh, the recoil level is obviously a little bit less uh, uh, of the three shock uh, uh, comparing with the one with the white blackout high velocity 75 meter per second are not all that much but it, it, it kicks a little bit uh, uh, more the white uh, white blackout but we are talking about two very fast uh, cartridges so um, I am shooting uh, in this uh, in this configuration, so I'm not uh, heavy heavy dressed like is is it's uh, it's normal when you you are going for wild boar hunting on the field. Okay, now let's go and see the performance of these uh, three shock uh, cartridges.
targets, let me explain you uh, the performance uh, of this uh, thrill shock slug by Baschieri and Pelan. Okay, uh, these are the two groups uh, at the 50 yards uh, with the Benelli M1 uh, slug and these ones are uh, the, the two groups uh, made with the Hudson Escort Extreme slug. As you can see, I will choose this uh, shotgun to go hunting with and uh, the right uh, groups uh, have been made uh, standing on the rest and this and the left groups are made uh, uh, simply hand shooting so without any rest uh, obviously I will go with this uh, uh, shotgun at, uh, at the, at the, in the field for wild boar drive hunting and I'm, I'm really satisfied because uh, these groups at uh, 50 uh, meters, not yards, which is almost the same, but not exactly the same, but at 50 meters, these are very are great groups, especially uh, this one. Uh, I will exclude this one because uh, I, I, I pulled the, the trigger very badly, but uh, at, for, I, I, I was able to put uh, two, two, sh two uh, shots uh, almost in the same hole, but anyway, uh, these are a, a good. This is, is a very uh, nice performance for a, a, a slug cartridge at the 50 meters. So now let's go hunting. Una bella posta. I'm very lucky today because uh, I have a great post. Uh, the shooting uh, distance is between 10 and 80 meters, and the wild boars will come from uh, three directions uh, one just in uh, just in front of me there and then other two from uh, behind over there i need to stay very alert because there are lots of wild boar here so need to stay really alert Here it is my medium size wild boar that I have shot at almost 40 meters which I consider a medium shooting. I have taken it with uh, two shots. The first one uh, was not uh, inside the animal, just the second and the third. I gave him a third shot on the head because the, it was moving and uh, I supposed that it, 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 it he was going away and then uh, the, the dogs were, were coming so it was, it was uh, safer for me to give uh, a third shot just to avoid any problem. Today I have uh, a very short post. Uh, the shooting uh, range average here will be from 5 to almost 45 meters no more and uh, it will be very difficult to, to shoot here because uh, you never know where from where the animals are coming È fermo, è fermo. Bravi, bravi. Andiamo, andiamo. Andiamo. Via, via. Mi rimanda indietro, eh. Andiamo, andiamo. Via, via. Via, via.
an 80 pound uh, wild boar taken with uh, just one shot at the head. I was uh, feeling something over there, but uh, I didn't realize that uh, it was coming from my left side, but I took it and uh, it was a very nice action. The dog are still barking. Here it is, my average size wild boar. Dropped it on its track. I took it on the head, and the slug came out from the neck. It was a quite easy shot, but uh, uh, very hard to say to to see the animal in this bush. Today I will uh, be able to take uh, this cartridge to the very limit. As a matter of fact, uh, I am uh, on a, on a treetop stand and uh, the shooting range here is between uh, 20 and 150 meters. So I will take this drill shock uh, slug cartridge really to the limit and uh, I will have to take my aim and, uh, and uh, try to uh, ex exactly uh, calculate the lead to give to, the, to my shot. I will, to, I will have to carefully aim. This is my 120 pound wild boar that I have taken with the third shot. It was a really a surprise because uh, I suspect to have caught uh, a couple of them with the first two shots, but when I have seen uh, the, the video I, I shot, I suddenly realized that the first two shots were on the, on, on the land. I, I, I make them uh, low, very low shots, and the third shot was the was uh, the good one, but I didn't realize it uh, immediately. So when I checked uh, on the ca on the small canyon under the field, I have found some blood, and then after only 15 meters, I have found this very nice wild boy. I was very surprised, and uh, I, I'm very astonished about the performance of this thrill shock Basquiat uh, per Lagri. Dear wild hunters friends, uh, welcome back uh, to my field studio uh, to make some uh, in, uh, decent, uh, important uh, comments on, the, on this field test. Uh, it was my uh, first uh, goal uh, to test uh, this uh, three shock uh, cartridge uh, at uh, three uh, different distance uh, shooting range. It was not uh, uh, really uh, an easy task for me because uh, it took, uh, it, it took uh, a lot of time uh, in order to find uh, some place where the, shot, the shots are uh, very close uh, and uh, some places where the shots are very long but uh, after one year, I did it, and I did it well. Uh, one of the most impressive features of this cartridge is that, that at any distance you shoot at any uh, size of wild boar, you, you, you have the same uh, performance on the animal. Pass through, one hole on the entrance, one hole at the exit, all the energy inside the animal and the animal and, and the wild boars were uh, stopping on their tracks and this is uh, unbelievable for a 12 gauge uh, slug uh, because um, uh, I think that uh, Baschieri and Pellagri has done a perfect job this is the perfect cartridge because it's very accurate the accuracy of the, le the level 
uh, of accuracy of these cartridges is, uh, is unbelievable. And not only on uh, slug uh, guns, but also with the smooth bore uh, uh, guns. So uh, it is very uh, precise, accurate, and constant in, in the performance. Then it has a lot of penetration because it's very difficult to find uh, the slug inside uh, the, the, the bore. I have never uh, had this experience. And then it performs very well but because it, it has a, a controlled expansion inside the body of the enemy. And this is unbelievable because, uh, as you know, slug uh, normally are on the exact opposite sides of, of the performance. You can find very tough slugs that pass through but uh, do not uh, transfer so much energy. And then on the opposite side you have uh, uh, slugs that uh, deflagrate and they do not uh, penetrate enough to reach the vitals. So this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the proof of, of a great job by Marco Manfredi of, uh, of Vascheri and Pellagri. Uh, I, I hope that you have enjoyed, uh, my, enjoyed my test because uh, it was a very tough test and uh, I repeat, my, my first uh, target was to uh, take some bore at short distance and medium distance and the long distance just to prove that this is uh, uh, the perfect uh, slug cartridge for you. I hope that you enjoyed the test and see you soon for another spectacular test on Wild Hunters.